People over 65 in Scotland who fall account for over 390,000 bed days and 44,000 emergency ambulance journeys. In fact, it's the commonest reason for people to be taken to hospital by ambulance. Even a simple fall can lead to a loss of confidence. That's why across our country we're looking to make things different. It doesn't need to be this way for these people. Smartcare is a new online service that supports people at risk of a fall or for those who are recovering from one. It has developed technology that supports integrated care through improved care coordination and communication across health and social care. Over the course of the three-year programme, Smartcare has developed a range of digital solutions that are accessed by everyday technologies. Keeping active is very important for a person's well-being. Smartcare uses Scotland's self-management website, Living It Up, packed full of information. It can help keep people fit and happy in their community. Well, I've been involved in athletics, rowing, uh, football as a player, and now as a referee, uh, I don't mind admitting I'll be 73 on my birthday, and I've always been active. We all know that the ageing process, you start to slow down, but if you can find something to do that keeps you active, as in move your limbs, but mentally as well, I'm out there to help people get a game of football, I do disability football, I do kids football, and it's great, it, it just keeps me going, it keeps me smiling. Co-design has been another key aspect of smart care. Our community partners asked for better coordination between agencies involved in their care. The care coordination calendar does just that. It allows people like Margaret Chisholm, who has Parkinson's disease, to see which care professionals will be visiting her every week. Even better, Margaret's health and care providers have direct access to her calendar and, by seeing when Margaret is available, can add appointments directly into it. This innovation reduces incidents of double booking. Well, it means I can always check to find out who's go who my carer's going to be because I don't like the thought of somebody arriving at the house when I don't know who, they're go who they are, don't know anything about them, whereas I can find out at least who's coming in and when. Having the tablet with this information on it now, I can switch that on and sit and do it on my own. Well, it means I can get the information I'm looking for without having to phone anybody up. I can do it myself. It makes me more independent. Smart Care Falls Assistant helps people to identify if they're at risk of a fall, but it also provides valuable support for people recovering from one. People like Linda Mingus, who had a bad fall and now uses the range of exercise videos available on the Falls Assistant tool to help keep her steady on her feet. It also offers tips on keeping healthy, how to fall-proof your home and to log a record of any falls a person might have. These can then be shared with their GP. It starts off with an, an introduction and then there's an exercise level test, which I think will be worthwhile. Strength and balance, which I think will be also worthwhile. And that's in three different levels here. I find it's giving me a, maybe a discipline really, again, something to do every day. And there is a calendar in it as well and a diary. And if I try and use that every day, it, it, it disciplines me a bit to do my exercises in the morning. And having that all, all written down there, I find it quite good. I feel I've done something. Smart Care is also making a difference for people like Maureen Hart. Maureen is the main carer for her husband, who has a range of complex health conditions. So how can Smart Care help? Smart Care has developed a person-held file which lets carers build a digital record of important information relating to the person they care for. This information can be shared with family as well as key health and care professionals. The person that's been cared for doesn't have to remember all their results and appointments and things like that because it would all be in there in the diary and stuff. And also for the person taking care of them. Um, if anything was to happen to myself, for instance, and I was to go into hospital, well, my daughter or my son could access my husband's records that way and pick up from where I'd left. Technology is already making a real difference for older people. By empowering them to actively manage their own health, social care and well-being, they can continue to maintain their independence at home safely.